But you got the Nets plus five right now. Um, and uh, look, they're coming off an embarrassing 14-point home loss to lowly Detroit yesterday. And here's the thing that really sticks out to me in that matchup, Teddy, is they got out-rebounded. They were minus 20 on the boards. And in the NBA, when you're that bad on the boards in a, one specific game, that lends itself to just a lack of effort. Um, and uh, they, they weren't playing with any type of determination whatsoever, and they got outworked. That's, that's the only thing I could attribute it to because teams get out-rebounded in the NBA, but by that large a margin in a game is very rare. And the good thing for the, the Nets is they, they're able to atone for last night's effort by playing uh, 24 hours later again on their home floor. And uh, so I, we'll see a better effort from the Nets, whether that translates to a win or a cover is yet to be seen. But the Nets have been a very good underdog this year. Yesterday they were favored against Detroit. Uh, as a matter of fact, they're four and one against the spread as a dog this year, and three and zero oh against the spread as a dog of eight and a half or less. Uh, they've also yesterday broke a string of three straight games in which they shot the ball fifty one percent or better. Uh, so they are a decent shooting team, and uh, that bodes well for a home underdog. Um, and the Nets also, uh, they played at Memphis last Wednesday and won 119 to 106 as an underdog in that contest. This is a Memphis team that's 2-1 and one on the road, Teddy, but their two wins on the road have come against Philly and Utah. And uh, those two teams, by the way, they're a combined 1-10 to start the season. So I'm going to take the uh, Brooklyn Nets here, plus the 5 at home over the Memphis Grizzlies. So Memphis has won two in a row. The Nets lost yesterday. Uh, but the last loss that the Grizzlies suffered came at home to Brooklyn, a game that was, I think it was a one-point game in the fourth quarter, and the Nets went on a big run to close it out. Do you worry at all about the short turnaround revenge type of scenarios in the NBA? Because uh, to me, uh, the, the quotes I was seeing made me think Memphis remembered uh, last week's loss to the Nets. It's, uh, they played poorly, and it was the last loss they've had. Yeah, I, I think that to me would become more to fruition um, or be considered more heavily on my part if the Nets weren't coming off such an embarrassing performance yesterday on their home floor. Um, so if if the Net, believe it or I mean, I know this sounds crazy, Teddy, but I probably would have leaned toward Memphis in this spot if the Nets won or won handily yesterday. Uh, and that wasn't the case. So Although, yes, it sets up as a revenge situation. I'm not a big proponent of revenge in the NBA anyway. Um, but by, by the same token, uh, look, it's, it's, you look at who Memphis has beat this year, Teddy, they really haven't beat anybody of significance. As a matter of fact, I don't think they've beaten anybody with a winning record at this particular moment in time. Ross Benjamin. Ross, uh, before we let you go, what do you have to promote? All right, so I'm going to have three NBA picks up for tonight. And, uh, Prez, I sent you over to streaks, and let's talk about positive. Bad day yesterday in the NFL, yeah. but my NBA has been very, very good, folks. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, you look at where am I here? My NBA straight bet wagers, 96 and 61 um, since April 11th of 2023, up over $10,000. Uh, my NBA money line picks, and I never lay a big number when it comes to NBA money line picks, or I'll take an underdog. Forty-six and eighteen uh, since uh, 2000 March of 2021 at 71 percent and net profit of seventy-six hundred dollars. College football coming off uh, a two and three Saturday, uh, but still one fifteen and eighty-one since December of 2022. Uh, up $7,500, still ranked number one in college football over that course of time. What did I miss? College basketball starts tonight, Press. Uh, and my college basketball totals have been excellent, folks. So uh, the record doesn't lie, 89-55 and 55 since March of 2022 with my college basketball totals. That's 62% and a net profit of over $9,200. So despite uh, uh, a terrible weekend, uh, there's a lot of positives I could draw from, and uh, it's going to be a big winning week uh, and a bounce-back week for, for myself.